Okay, hello everybody. Um, my name is Alexander Niemervoll. I'm one of the developers of Outlook Color Synthesizer. Um, I gave already a talk last year and will focus on the new developments since um, last time, but first of all, short introduction. Um, some remarkable achievements in the, in the um, last three years. This project started as a um, diploma master thesis in a uh, master study degree program at the University of Applied Science in Vienna um, yeah, three years ago and nowadays we have more than one million downloads so it's quite impressive and wouldn't be possible without the help of you guys and um, server providers like, like Nextcloud which uh, support our project. So thank you for that. Um, what are the, 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 the features? What does the add-in offer? You can synchronize um, tasks, um, contacts and calendars with um, Outlook and uh, since Outlook unfortunately doesn't support native um, Caldev and Caldev integration, so we are the only um, open source add-in which supports that. It's HPL licensed, similar to, to the Nextcloud itself. Um, we have a pre-configured Nextcloud profile type um, which integrates nicely with auto discovery so you can discover your next job resources like calendars and, and tasks and, and address books. Um, you can see some, some uh, dialogue where you can configure some advanced options that they are um, hidden from the, from the basic view but you can, you can um, have some advanced features like um, time range filtering like different sync directions to resync one way from output to server. You can have interval uh, automatic sync, sync updates immediately to the server. So a lot of advanced options. Um, also some new features which I, which I like to, to mention today. Yeah. Um, what are the business uh, benefits? we we'll talk tomorrow more about, <coughs> about that. Um, also Frank mentioned that in the, in the keynote yesterday. So Nextcloud is much more than, than a file sync and search so, uh, solution. It will go to the direction of a full uh, collaboration uh, platform and for that we can really target an exchange um, replacement. Yeah? So instead of using exchange, active sync and um, proprietary protocols, you can uh, depend on, on open, open protocols and open standards with RFCs behind. Yeah? Um, there are, of course, other uh, trooper solutions, but most of them don't support Outlook directly or use some proprietary uh, connectors. And yeah, if you like it or not, Outlook is still the, the most commonly used desktop client, so it's pain in the ass, but uh, still, still mostly, mostly used in Windows environment. Yeah. So it's Nextcloud and, and our solution, you can uh, bundle the trooper solution with RFC-compliant protocols. Uh, uh, combined with Staffroid, for example, they gave the talk already today. We have a full integration with, with various clients. Yeah, as you see, and with Nextcloud, with Outlook, with Android, with iOS native integration, with Thunderbird, of course, uh, every uh, client that supports Caldev. So, a quite, quite good uh, solution, which is enterprise ready. Um, now, I will focus on new features in the version 3.0. Uh, two at the moment. We have localization support, so we could use your, your help here as well, of course, obviously. We have already German, Russian, French, Italian, more to come, like Spanish and Czech um, translations, but yeah, we could use a lot of more, of course. Yeah. So um, <coughs> that major version upgrade to, to version 3 um, was also necessary for the localization support to, to update the .NET core framework, so we support only 4.6 uh, at the moment, which uh, drops support for Windows XP, but you shouldn't use that anyway, so it's not a big deal, hopefully. Um, other interesting new features, we already had support for calendar colors, but now we also have support for event coloring, which is a nice feature. It's a RFC extension, 7986, some iCalendar extension attribute, color attribute, unfortunately you can't use a, a random a random color um, but you you need some 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 fixed uh, CSS three color names in Outlook you have category colors they are also fixed so we need a, a mapping and implemented that yeah, you can um, yeah, map to the nearest 
out of category color. It's also supported in, in Dove Trade, so you can sync your event colors to the to the Android phone from, from Outlook via the, the server. It's also a, a feature request in the Nextcloud calendar app. It's an open issue, it's even a bounty there, so it's quite quite interesting. Yeah? Other uh, huge improvement is about uh, performance. We implemented WebDAV collection sync, uh, and that's that's really really nice, uh, supported by, by Nextcloud as well. And we did some performance performance measurements. Um, quite interesting. The initial sync for a, a huge collection with about 3,000 events, for example, takes five minutes. It's a long time, but mostly dependent on the on the Outlook object model. And the second sync um, without changes takes. 25 seconds with the, the, the normal um, calendar report where they have to compare every e tag if something changed, and with the collection sync enabled, it's uh, less than three seconds. So that's a, a huge improvement for subsequent syncs. So that's some of the new new features, and obviously there are more to come in the next weeks and years. Thank you.